What's up? Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us here today. We got a good one coming your way because uh, we got a good crew. Chris Vosters, he's a play by play man for the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> see, that's not going to get us. You, we know when you, your that fake laugh me, here, though. Chris. That uh, yeah, me. that makes me laugh. It Joshua uh, Brooke here. But guys, we are going to play one of our favorite games here. It's a little pass or play action. I'm going to tee up some different topics around the world of sports. And we got to decide if we want to talk about it or if we want to if we want to pass on it. So let's get to the first one here. CJ Stroud, uh, he had some kind words to say about Matthew Stafford, saying that he would have three or four rings if he had been in Aaron Rodgers shoes all those years in Green, excuse me, Green Bay. Would you want to pass or you want to play? I think we ought to play this one. I think we should. Yeah, I think we want to play here. Uh, yeah, so he went on a podcast and he said, quote, if you gave Matthew Stafford a chance like Aaron Rodgers had, I guarantee you might that he might have the more rings for sure. Um, and that was million dollars worth of game there. Uh, that's where he was talking about that. But yeah, I think I think there's some truth to that because of the way the team that Matthew Stafford was drafted to, the Detroit Lions, I think they, they were obviously one of the worst, if not the worst team uh, in the entire NFL. And I think being on a team, it does matter which team you are on um, because it doesn't really put you on that national spotlight. I don't think enough people were talking about Matthew Stafford. Yeah, it's interesting to me because when I hear football people and, and specifically quarterbacks talk about Matthew Stafford, they hold him in such high regard. Here you see C.J. Stroud, one of the young stars in the NFL. Um, he obviously thinks Matthew Stafford is much better than what his resume might say in terms of rings. We've seen Dan Orlovsky, who's a great analyst on ESPN, talk about his time in Detroit there with Matt Stafford. And he talks about him like he's one of the greats that has ever played quarterback in the NFL. I mean, we even saw up to a certain point that when he got out to L.A. there with the Rams, that there were some veterans who had been around the league for a while that yep. were willing to maybe take a little bit less money for the opportunity to play with Matt Stafford because they believe that he had what it took to win. So do I necessarily agree with C.J. Stroud? Do I disagree with him? I don't think it's for me to agree or disagree with. I just I think the most interesting thing that comes from this is what football minds and in particular quarterbacks have to say about Matthew Stafford and how they think he is. I just want to know what about the Green Bay Packers situation C.J. Stroud thinks was so great that Aaron Rodgers somehow missed out on an opportunity to win more rings. I mean, they certainly had chances. I will say that I think Aaron Rodgers had better coaching in Green Bay than Matthew Stafford did in Detroit. I think Mike McCarthy was an outstanding coach for Aaron Rodgers and the players are the personnel rather that they had from an offensive coordinator and a quarterback's coaching standpoint when you look at Joe Philbin when you look at Tom Clemens Aaron Rodgers had great relationships with those people but Aaron Rodgers never had a world-class defense the only year he did was in 2010-11 when the Packers won the Super Bowl and Matthew Stafford started his career with Calvin Johnson so I think Matthew Stafford had plenty to work with in Detroit I don't know about that. I, I would have to disagree. I mean, Calvin Johnson, that was the closest I think that they ever came when they did have Calvin Johnson to uh, make a run for, you know, to do something in the playoffs. But I think coaching, they, they didn't have the proper coaching. They didn't have the proper people in the front office there. They're drafting, like the, way, the guys they were drafting, it was not good. It was just, he wasn't set up to really succeed in my eyes for the majority of the time that he was there though. But to back to your point about players, like I remember talking to certain players in Detroit, there were some that even played with Tom Brady, and they were saying Matthew was one of the smartest quarterbacks yep. that they had, they had ever played with. And I don't think he gets – I mean, I think winning the Super Bowl, people were finally starting mm -hmm. to pay attention. I think he's super underappreciated. Yeah, and, and, and to piggyback off of what Chris said, like, I agree with what you're saying in terms of, like, do I think Matthew Stafford would have had some, you know, magic mix that would have brought Green Bay more Super Bowls? Probably not. Um, I do think that organizationally, when you compare the Green Bay Packers to the dumpster fire that the Detroit yeah, Lions have been for a long time, yeah. it's, it's like I, I think there are bad organizations for a reason. It's really difficult to try to get them out of that. Yeah, for sure. But Brad Holmes, he's doing his thing there. And Dan Campbell, uh, let's get to a comment here. J-Rod, Aaron Rodgers wouldn't have a ring if he'd been in Stafford's place. In my mind, CJ wasn't Ryan. Ryan. Chris, you get it? Like, flying. Very lion. funny. Very funny. Yeah. No laugh, though. No, yeah, not funny enough, I see. Okay. Uh, let's get to 